Since we last gathered as a community for worship, three of our members have died, their baptisms having been made completed in their death, and who have been received into the loving arms of God in God's heavenly kingdom. Nancy McKee, whose service of witness to the resurrection was held yesterday. John Pilcher, whose service will be next Saturday, the 19th, at 11 a.m. in the sanctuary, with calling at 10 o'clock in the parlor. And finally, John Miller, whose service will be on Saturday, January 26th, at 11.30 in the sanctuary, with calling at 10 o'clock in the parlor. For our morning prayer, I invite you to join me in making this an interactive prayer. So after each petition, I'm going to say, let us pray to the Lord, and I invite you to respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. While we marvel at the wonders of creation, the changing seasons, the blanket of snow, protect those who must labor outside, those shut in by the weather, those who are without shelter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring wholeness and well-being to those hospitalized today suffering or recovering at home from, from any affliction of body, mind, or spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear. Remove the pain and fear of those beset by violence, whether it be in combat zones, city streets, within their own homes, and bring them peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Break the chains of addiction and bring release to those captive to opioids, heroin, other drugs, or, or alcohol. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring aid to those facing financial crises whether it be from a government shutdown, illness or accident, long-term generational poverty, both in our country and around the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Inspire political leadership in our country and around the world to work for the common good, bringing peace and justice to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Comfort those who mourn, particularly those grieving the deaths of Nancy, John, and John. Help them to trust the good news of resurrection to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear and respond to all our prayers, spoken and silent, for we offer them in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, giver of all grace and forgiveness, who taught us to pray together, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. It's not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory forever. Amen.